Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Jesse Warden here. Today we're going to make the dot follow the mouse. In our last video, we made the dot teleport to where the mouse is, the X and Y position, as fast as possible. So as you move your mouse around the screen, the dot would follow your mouse. Today, we're gonna make it follow. So we're gonna use some trigonometry. Don't worry if you're not in that level of math yet in school or college, or you're an adult like me and you forgot everything. It's okay. I'm gonna give you the algorithms. I'm not gonna even explain how it works. You'll just have the math and it just works regardless of what the object is. We're gonna use that to calculate the speed. So instead of the circle magically teleporting to where your mouse is, it's gonna go there at whatever speed you set based on angular velocity. We have to get those two variables that we had before, which is x velocity, and we'll just set it to some weird default. These don't matter. Whatever the default is, we're gonna change it every single frame. And we need our initial mouse position. So we'll say mouse position equals get mouse position. However, we need two new variables. The first is speed. How many pixels spread out over going X and Y velocity? Next up, we need the angle. What angle that this is go? Now this gets really confusing with radians and degrees and all this. So let's just pretend for now we just have an angle, okay? We just have a variable that calculates what angle the mouse is in relation to the actual dot. I'm gonna copy paste some code real quick. We'll, we'll come back to these variables. I'm gonna hit save and show you what I'm talking about when I say angle. You'll see that any angle and distance can be calculated based on a right triangle. A right triangle is any triangle that has two sides that form a 90 degree angle. That little triangle at the top right. That green line is the distance between our mouse and that other one. And using math sine and a tangent two, we can identify the angle, the velocity, and using the distance formula, we can get exactly how far our mouse is away, really the velocity that it needs to go. So down here, the velocity would be basically really fast on the Y and nothing on the X. And the opposite here, really fast on the X and opposite on the Y. Here, it would be half and half, 45 degree angle. Using that math, we can figure out where it's supposed to go. Do that triangle drawing code and we'll resume where we left off. We'll go to mouse position equals kick mouse position. So remember, we have to do this every single frame. So we set it initially, that's great, but we're gonna set it again and again and again every frame. Next up, we are going to get the distance X or how far is it from the mouse to the dat dot x. And if it's far to the right, you're gonna get a positive number. If it's far to the left, you're gonna get negative. Same exact thing for the distance y using the mouse position y. Where is it? Minus dat dot y. So now you have the distance of the x and y position. Using math a tan two, it gives us the angle and radians from the x axis. I have no idea what that means. Doesn't really matter because this will give us an angle that we can utilize to calculate our velocity for our x using math.cosine. We take that angle, we say, all right, multiply it by our speed. So this is the key here. That's great we got a velocity, but what? how fast you will be going on that angle to get to that direction. Same thing for the y. The only difference is we're gonna use sine instead of cosine. What we did before is add the values because again, if it's negative, it'll actually end up subtracting it. If it's positive, these will continue to add. Dat dot x plus equals y velocity. We started off at once, this is gonna be kind of slow. So I hit save here, go back to our browser, and now you'll notice that it slowly goes to our mouse based on whatever angle it is. So if we move straight to the right here, the velocity is one pixel. If we go straight down here, it's gonna go one pixel, but notice it goes kind of slow X and Y at an angle. That gives you a kind of basic follow behavior. And what we can do is increase our speed just a tad here. Let's go up to three. And there you go, it's a lot faster. And notice when it gets there, it kind of wiggle wiggles because it's not always on a whole pixel when it gets to that exact point. So we'll fix that problem later. But that is, ladies and gentlemen, is a basic follow behavior. Using some trigonometry, we just need to get the mouse position. We get the distance of the X and Y, how far is the mouse from our dot or whatever it's trying to follow. We take that distance and we put the Y first and the X second in math a tangent two. A tangent two will give us the angle that we need to multiply by cosine and sine to get the velocity we need. We can increase or decrease that velocity merely by just setting the speed variable. So same speed, two different areas. And from that, we can use those values to say, all right, this is our velocity or how fast we should be going on the X and the Y, and that will allow us to follow.